that's just cool. <laughs> like one day it's there and then it's gone and then it comes back. So we're just some students from UWF. We have a partnership with the uh, National Park Service. We come out and we do a herpetological survey. Um, we go to five arrays um, across from Beaver Pond. We look under cover boards, which are met metal and wood. Um, we also look at PVC pipes to see um, what kind of organisms we're going to find in there. And today we found a lot of hyla, um, the pinewood tree frogs. Underneath the cover boards, we find a uh -huh. lot of Eleutherodactylus. Yeah, so we'll take a picture of the cover board before we lift it so that when we're looking at photos and if we find any organisms, we'll know what board it was under. Um, and then we'll get a picture as soon as, as, soon as she lifts it up. Uh, so go ahead. Oh, ready. Three, two, one. Um, in case there is anything under there that we couldn't catch, um, we're hoping that we can be able to ID anything under the board um, if it did get away. Oh, there's this little thing. What is that? Eastern narrowmouth? Yep. Eleutherodactyl? Eleutherodactyl is a greenhouse tree frog is a common name. The PVC pipes to see what are crawling in these for refuge as opposed to cover boards. Uh, so we'll get lizards and frogs and lots of cockroaches. Got them. Uh, these are, oh, the PVC pipes um, to see what kind of organisms are preferring the cover boards over the PVC pipes. We'll take a picture so that um, the people that we send the data to, the National Park Service, they can uh, make sure IDs are, are correct. There's a little guy. Whoa, it's like neon. Oh, sweet. And they also are double checking our IDs, like what we say is femoralis, here's the photo. The inventory and monitoring program is what this is for. So you can't look at an ecosystem as a whole unless you know how it's functioning, what's there. And that's kind of the purpose of this survey. We came to the pond side and we picked up some minnow traps that Jeff Ebel um, from CEDB had deployed the day before, so they're out for 24 hours. Um, we picked those up at each site. There are five of them today. This is the minnow trap, um, so it has holes on both sides for them to enter and exit so they're not stuck and we don't drown anything. Um, we, used to, we usually submerge it halfway so that things can get in and out and the holes aren't fully submerged. And uh, so once we get up there, we'll unzip it dump it out, count everything. 50.6, wait. Gives me a chance to actually have hands on with the reptiles and amphibians as well. They're looking to get um, count data. Come on. Um, just kind of get an idea of what, what is out here and what we're going to be looking for. And then we also have a, um, a frog logger that looks for the Cuban tree frogs, um, the invasive species. Um, so that's running 20, 24 hours a day, picking up calls um, every minute. I mean, we like finding everything and we think it's cute and adorable and just happy that it's still here and it's just fun. It's like a kid, go out and flip logs and see what you find. It's like, get to play, get paid for it. <laughs> I love it. Um, if I could do field work all the time, I definitely would. Um, you get to hang out with other people who love the same stuff as you do, um, other people who love herps. Uh, and just being outside, it's, it's so fun. A passion to help the Park Service in their effort.